Thanks, Candace. Let's also help you stay in the know with a look at tonight's other big headlines. Thousands of Fort Lauderdale residents are without water. A construction crew damaged a water main near the airport. And in order to fix it, they had to shut the water off. The city is asking people to use water only when it is absolutely necessary. Governor Ron DeSantis is sending 70,000 bottles of water to the city. Tensions with Iran are escalating yet again. A U.S. ship already on patrol in the Arabian Sea shot down an Iranian drone after President Trump said it got too close for comfort. The boxer took defensive action against an Iranian drone, which had closed into a very, very near distance, approximately 1,000 yards, ignoring multiple calls to stand down. Thursday, Iranian state TV claimed the country's Revolutionary Guards seized a foreign tanker. They claim it was smuggling 264,000 gallons of fuel through the Strait of Hormuz. A dangerous and record-breaking heat wave is going to take a grip on more than half of the country, and it will last through the weekend. Nearly 150 million people from Arizona to New England are under heat alerts, and Chicago is in emergency mode. We have a coordinated, collaborative, and comprehensive response to the coming heat wave. To beat the heat, people are splashing in pools and drinking as much water as possible. 